Welcome back. I'm Mike Favetta along with Cara DeFalco. You're watching the New Jersey Morning Show, the Center for Healthy, Healthy Senior Living at Hackensack Meridian. Hackensack University Medical Center is opening a lifestyle and frailty program to enhance the overall well-being and safety of older adults. Here to tell us more is geriatric specialist and doctor of the program, Dr. Kamal Waggle. Welcome to the show, doctor. Thank you. Glad to be here. We're so glad you could join us. So can you tell us a little bit about the program? What inspired it? So excited about the lifestyle medicine program in the Center for Healthy Senior Living. So this program will be um, intentional time and space to spend with patients understanding their lifestyle pillars and using the therapeutic interventions on lifestyle pillars to strengthen uh, their overall health, like health and prevent um, and manage chronic diseases. And these lifestyle pillars include nutrition, physical activity, sleep, stress management, avoiding high-risk behaviors, positive social relationships. Now, doctor, so much of this program is geared toward helping the older, you know, generation uh, kind of develop a better, better quality of life. Why else is this program important? So our, you know, it has been recognized that lifestyle factors are the root cause of a lot of chronic diseases. And if you think about an older adult, there, there is usually multiple comorbidities, medical conditions, a lot of medications and functional difficulties. So working on lifestyle, uh, a person can experience a positive progress in their health. Uh, it will it will likely to reduce their number of medications, improve you know more energy, more preventing falls, uh, reduction of their complications of their chronic diseases, and uh, it's been recognized that lifestyle factors are are the first line you know treatment by all you know by it is in medicine it has been recognized, but in conventional you know medical practice, uh, there's not much um, time and space to talk about that to help our patients on this field. So I think that it is uh, much high time to work on uh, lifestyle for our patients. I, I think, and doctor, you're, you're, as you're speaking, I'm reminded of uh, you know, the Blue Zones research where we talk about octogenarians and, and people living well to, into 100 and those lifestyle factors that, that incorporate on that. So what can participants in the program expect and receive? You know, so we, we talk about, you said the nutrition, you know, some basic movement, their community element. What kind of things does the program, how does the program provide those things? That's a very interesting point. Uh, just like you said, uh, lifestyle factors and environment also uh, influence our healthy aging, you know. And uh, now we know that it affects your, how the gene expresses and, how, and we call it epigenetics. And that also shapes our aging process. So a participant in this uh, program is, uh, you can expect that there will be an intentional time to discuss about their lifestyle, uh, various elements of lifestyles include by using uh, standard assessment tools. And um, with, together with the healthcare provider, they will make um, next you know, baby steps to improve their lifestyles. Awesome. They can expect to you know, have better energy, more mobility, more improved quality of life, better sleep as they work on their lifestyle elements. And they will be able to experience, enjoy this uh, positive uh, experience uh, as they work on lifestyle. So it serves as a positive feedback to continue for them to work on their lifestyle. I also see my patients uh, are able to cut down their medications um, and also reduce complications from, you know, some chronic diseases because of their, you know, as the, we do more therapeutic intervention on their lifestyle. Now, doctor, this can also help the family structure because a lot of times there are many elderly that are dependent on their family for support. So how can this program also benefit the caregivers uh, for these patients? It's always an aha moment for a family to express, uh, to witness changes in their loved ones with uh, with the simple lifestyle interventions and as a ripple effect i've seen how the family or it affects the whole family you know all the family's uh, lifestyle approaches also improve 
And I think one individual's lifestyle changes influences families and eventually the community is you know, affected by as a ripple effect. Um, but also family will find it rewarding because now they are, their loved ones is uh, more enjoying their daily life. They are more independent. They are may able to, you know, um, not take a lot of medication, no need for taking a lot of multiple medications. Uh, so they, their the outcomes are very visible to the family members, along you know, besides the individual. Such a beautiful thing to to watch, um, doctor. For anybody who's watching and they want to, uh, you know, sign up or participate in this program, where do we go to find out more information? Go to Hackensack uh, Meridian Health website, and you can make an appointment at Center for Healthy Senior Living for our lifestyle medicine program. And we look forward to seeing some of you there. Doctor, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. You have yourself a great day. Thank you. To you as well. Yeah, great stuff. I mean, they they just... Uh, I, I, Mike, I don't know if you had a chance to, to watch it. I think it was on Netflix. They they did that whole Blue Zone spot. And they talk about these mm-hmm. people around the world yeah. who live in their 80s. They're, and not just live, live well. They're out and about. They're walking. And it's it's very funny because... Around the world, uh, seniors have a very different value to the community than they seem to sure. here in the U.S. You know, we, we tend to kind of put folks out to pasture, but these people are, you know, Italy being one of them, <laughs> Sardinia, you know, they're walking those steps in those old towns. They're still cooking meals for their families. You know, they're, they're eating this nutritious food and they yeah. are an active part of the community and it makes such a difference in their lives. Some of them even have social media accounts and they're in their hundreds yes. and they post with their grandkids and great grandkids. And, and you think, wow, OK, my daughter is 80 years old. So right. it's it's really something it kind of makes you think like, wow, they must be doing something right. They're doing something right for sure. And I'm glad to see that that we're starting to catch on. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, coming up, the Hudson Tunnel Project has officially been granted full funding. We'll tell you more about it next.